of all people, how are you doing? This is your girl Linda Kenyita and this is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. We are back again with another exciting episode and today I am visiting NAF Kennels and I'm chilling with these two awesome puppies and some another one there who's hiding and a gentleman here who, Kamakawaida, I'm going to let him introduce himself and also introduce to us the breeds that they have here in this kennel. Mister. Welcome to our show. Say hi to you to the people and then introduce yourself. Thank you. Uh, I'm Eugene. Uh, this is North Kennels. We're based in Kikuyu. We have like nine different breeds here. Mm -hmm. We have Caucasian, we have Labrador, Chocolate Labrador, Huskies, Siberian Huskies and Egyptian Huskies. We also have uh, Russian Terriers. Retrievers, German Shepherds, St. Bernard's, we also have Pugs, so you're welcome. Okay. From all those breeds that you've mentioned, I, what's the difference between a Siberian Husky and an Egyptian Husky? Uh, the difference actually is the physical features. Like this one is an Egyptian Husky. Mm -hmm. You can just look from the features. Mm -hmm. uh, Siberian Husky, they're from... Um, which country is it called? Siberia. Siberia yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and, and um, now with all the different uh, breeds that you have, how do they correlate with one another? We don't put them together. Yeah. We separate them because of different temperaments. Mm -hmm. And also, Hatupendi has had cocaine. Mm -hmm. Dogs fight, mm -hmm. brutal fights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that um, purposely the dogs here are for breeding. So when it comes to breeding, what kind of trainings do you need for you to take your dogs through for you to be able to live with them and go through the whole process? When you bring a dog here, uh, we check the medical records, the registration processes. Our dogs are registered. Uh, we also check the, their condition. Are they strong? Do they need rehabilitation first before we put them in the kennels? Mm -hmm. So we do check things like that. Mm -hmm. Also, we also check on the, the feeding. Mostly dogs need a lot of carbs and proteins. Mm -hmm. So we introduce, we actually because they are from different countries, mm -hmm. so we introduce them slowly, slowly by slowly to the Kenyan food. Mm -hmm. The dog the rice, the meat in here, the meat mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. yeah. Pole pole to mm -hmm. but at first there are challenges. Mm -hmm. The first week you may, you may face diarrhea. Yeah, the feeding, mm -hmm. feeding is the most important thing for dogs. Mm -hmm. That's why in Akombea we, we, we gradually, gradually, mm -hmm. we gradually introduce them to, to the Kenyan food, mm -hmm. to some maybe beef in Kenya, mm -hmm. some chicken heads, minced chicken, mm -hmm. liver. Because you can find where they were, they were being fed maybe the, the dog biscuits, dog pellets, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's a challenge at first, the first week, mm -hmm. because of changing of diet. Mm -hmm. Okay, when it comes to breeding the dogs, we usually advise people, we are advised to jump the first heat. Uh, would you touch on that one and why, why is it important? First, because of the, actually you might find the dog is not yet matured. Mm -hmm because the first hit comes, usually first hit comes at around eight, nine months. Mm -hmm. At that age, the dog is not fully matured, mm -hmm. not strong. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you breed it, mm -hmm. it may have challenges mm -hmm. while giving birth. Mm -hmm. You might find it may not able to push. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a big challenge. The dog might die. So we advise people to, to skip the first, give it maybe the second or the third. Mm -hmm. That's when maybe the dog is 1.2 years mm -hmm. or 1.5 years, yeah. Uh, when it comes to rehoming, d are there things that you consider before you rehome a puppy? Actually, there we, we are very keen. Mm -hmm. We don't just rehome dogs to, to people. If you come here and tell us you live in an apartment, uh, you can't, you don't know if the dog will fit in. Actually, the best way to, to get rid of you, mm -hmm. I'll just hike the price. <laughs> That's how the market is. Mm -hmm. If I give you the dog, mm -hmm. actually you can see the state of the kennel. Mm -hmm. It's very good, mm -hmm. they're happy. Mm -hmm. Then you take my dog, go there, put it in a small house, mm -hmm. 
it, it does not have any playground, mm -hmm. no movement, you just stay in a cage. Mm -hmm. We consider things like that. Mm -hmm. So our dogs mostly home to people who have good homes. Mm -hmm. By good homes, I mean you have a compound, the dogs can play. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can take you can take care of the dog very very well. Mm -hmm. Actually, better than us. Mm -hmm. That's what we consider. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you had instances where a puppy has been returned because the 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 people who acquired them were not able to take care of them? Uh, that situation occurred only twice, mm -hmm. but the people were not, they were actually capable of, mm -hmm. but they were traveling. Mm -hmm. So they returned the dog because they could not afford to, to travel with it, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. to where they were going. Okay. Now when it comes to challenges of running such a kennel, what are the challenges that you guys have faced so far? Challenges, the first challenge is you need food, mm -hmm. dog food, you need food, because they, they don't work. Mm -hmm. They only play and eat. <laughs> That's the biggest job. Mm -hmm. They only play and eat. So, if you're not financially well in your pocket, mm -hmm. dog food is expensive. Since Corona came, dog food is, has been so much, so much expensive. Mm -hmm. Also, the hacking of some dog rice, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. And also, another challenge is fake, fake foods in the market. Mm -hmm. You may go in a supermarket, find some good food, but when your dog takes them, mm -hmm. just call the vet after two days mm -hmm. because of stomach issues, the dog was maybe had, it had plastics. Mm -hmm. yeah. When it comes to maintaining the cleanliness of the kennel and also the, the grooming of the dogs, how do you deal with that? That one is a good question. <laughs> uh, for, for good dogs, mm -hmm. you need a clean kennel. Mm -hmm. So for uh, our routine here, every day in the morning, at maybe 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 9, mm -hmm. wake up, clean the kennels, feed the puppies, the first meal. Mm -hmm. Also, we keep our routine cleanness during the day. Mm -hmm. After every one hour, you check on the kennels. After every two hours, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The biggest challenge cleaning is maybe when the water supply is short mm -hmm. that's the biggest challenge maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but manpower mm -hmm. manpower to clean the kennel is there mm -hmm. the commitment is there mm -hmm. okay. uh, when it comes to the physical well-being of the dogs uh, uh, exercise and all that because you mentioned one that when rehoming puppies like the owners need to have their compound for the dogs to be happy what about the dogs who are in the breeding uh, program how do you ensure that they have adequate exercise uh, we have a small space here so we keep uh, in the evening around now afternoon mm -hmm. we give them each day 40 minutes of just roaming around, mm -hmm. feel free, mm -hmm. yeah, cage by cage, not mm -hmm. all dogs. Mm -hmm. Cage one, we take them out 40 minutes, cage two the same, cage three, until all of them are, mm -hmm. are playing, mm -hmm. you know, have played. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the, the dogs in your program, you've introduced them at different times. How, and, and you've managed to keep more than one in a cage, how do you socialize them to, for them to be able to stay like that and to avoid the fights? We don't keep males, different breeds of males together. Mm -hmm. So we, we separate the males, we put them together. If uh, they are retriever males, mm -hmm. we put them together. Mm -hmm. They get well, they associate well with each other. Mm -hmm. The huskies, we actually we check on the, the stubbornness of the dog. Mm -hmm. Can you relate to, to the other dog? Mm -hmm. Is it uh, is it social? There are dogs that are not social with mm -hmm. other dogs. Mm -hmm. So if it's social, we keep it with other dogs. If it's not, we separate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you have one of the oldest dogs that I've met so far. You have a dog here who's about 17 years, and he still looks strong and healthy. Uh, how have you maintained its health so far? The feeding of the dog. It's top notch, mm -hmm. first thing. Mm -hmm. uh, second thing, make sure you're there to visit your kennel, like maybe twice in in a month mm -hmm. or every week once. Mm -hmm. That's how you keep your dog, all your dogs healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, the dog is 17 years. Mm -hmm. It's a German Shepherd, short coat. Mm -hmm. It has survived all that because of 
taking good care of it, mm. feeding it well, mm. giving it, taking it to exercises, yeah, regular vet checking, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the secret. So you usually have a, a, a vet visit, whether the dogs are sick or not. Okay. Now, when it comes to pest control, especially because you have these furry, furry animals, how do you ensure that the pests are under control and you do not have a uh, infestation of pests? The secret is we clean our dogs, our kennel, every day, mm -hmm. every morning. Mm -hmm. So by doing that, we keep you, you, you keep away with the, mm -hmm. with the with the fleas and the ticks. Mm -hmm. So there's no room for them. Mm -hmm. There's no room for them mm -hmm. if you clean them every day. Mm -hmm. Like, unlike other kennels where maybe the owners clean them once in a week or twice a month, people are different. Mm -hmm. But us, we clean them daily. Mm -hmm. That's why our dogs. They're not even smelling. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you have different dog breeds here. Like, do you do you mind taking us through the temperaments of each dog breed? Let's say uh, the Caucasian Shepherds. How are they? The the, the Russian Terriers. How are they? Uh, we can start with the Retrievers. Mm -hmm. These are the best family dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, brother breed to Labrados. Mm -hmm. These are good with kids because they're calm, they're intelligent. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's why they're called retrievers. They're playful with children, and they're also protective to children. Yeah. Uh, to huskies, these are very curious dogs. Very curious. They're playful. They're also very energetic. Mm -hmm. And they, they eat a lot during <laughs> the day. Yeah, They eat a lot because they're energetic. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, other breeds, the German Shepherd, People know about them. They're part. They're mm -hmm. They are secure. They are. They're secure dogs. The Caucasians. First, they are very calm. Mm -hmm. Second, they are very playful. Mm -hmm. They're also protective to their owners. Uh, we normally we don't give them for sec for security purposes. Mm -hmm. We give them for home, like home pets, mm -hmm. because. If you if you can take if you can train them mm -hmm. to be security dogs, you can't handle them. They are they're massive, they have a lot of energy. Yeah. But they're calm, they're friendly, they're also very happy. They're happy dogs. And also alerting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like huskies, also huskies are very alerting. Yeah. Uh, the other breed we have is uh, Saint Bernard. Not much about it. They're cool, they're calm, they keep their presence known. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just walk in somewhere and it, it, will, it will notice you, mm -hmm. just like German Shepherds do. Uh, other, pa other breed is the Pug. The Pug is the smallest that we have. It's friendly. It's also, let me say, pocket says I'm a handbag size for women. <laughs> Because you can find a woman walking in town, not gonna capag in the handbag. Yeah, in the hand, in the handbag. Mm -hmm. uh, the Labrador is the same as the Retriever. Mm -hmm. They are brother, brother breeds, mm -hmm. but they are they're kind of protective. The Labrador, mm -hmm. unlike the Retriever. Mm -hmm. uh, Labrador can also be used for security purposes mm -hmm. because they they offer protection to their owners. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when it comes to all the breeds here, which one is your favorite? The one I've not mentioned, <laughs> the Russian Terrier. <laughs> I'll keep it low-key, because it's the first breed that we're having. So they're, they're cool, they're playful, playful, like... They can't, you, you can't stay with them here without playing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Every time they're just playing. Mm -hmm. They're also very alerting. Uh, what advice would you give to somebody who would want to acquire a pet, a, a dog, that, generally a dog? Uh, first advice, uh, check on the breed that you want. Mm -hmm. uh, also check on your status quo. Are you a cool guy? Are you a guy with high temper? Mm -hmm. So if you are a guy with high temper, you need a, a dog with also. Not high temper, cool temper. Mm -hmm. If you're a girl with cool temper, you need an aggressive dog to keep you. Mm -hmm. Protect you. Yeah, mm -hmm. to keep you up on your toes and mm -hmm. protect you. Mm -hmm. 
also check on the you are where you live. Mm -hmm. Do you need a big dog, a small dog? People who live on apartment they require small dogs because of space and mm. but if if you have a compound you need a big dog. Family dog retrievers. Mm -hmm. If you want to explore the curious dogs, the huskies. Mm -hmm. If you want the luxury dogs, we have the Russian Terrier, mm -hmm. we have the the Siberian Husky. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. When it comes to feeding the dogs, you have different breeds. Do you feel them all the same, or does one breed come with a specific uh, feeding requirement? All dogs are equal here. Mm -hmm. We feed them the same meal mm -hmm. each day. Mm -hmm. The only thing we do, we, if today we feed them meat and chicken heads or chicken necks, tomorrow we feed them rice and beef. Mm -hmm. So we keep on changing the, the menu mm -hmm. day by day. Okay. If I want to... Uh, acquire a dog let's say like now i want to considering these two which one eats more than the other one is there anything like one you'll have to give a small bowl or the other a big bowl you also check on the the size and the age uh, if you can if you can see this two mm -hmm. this one eats less than this one mm -hmm. the huskies are energetic mm -hmm. they're playful and like this one this one are cool mm -hmm. so huskies eat much than retrievers mm -hmm. Also, the big dogs eat most food, or much food. Mm -hmm. So when serving the food, we ratio. Are you a big dog? Give this ratio. Small dogs, different ratio. Mm -hmm. okay. So if I get a husky, I need to be well with my feeding. Like I need, and if I need budget feeding, do not th listen to my advice. You go check on the professional's advice. <laughs> when you, wh 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 but these are things that you need to consider when you're getting a dog. And that's why we are here that getting a dog, it's not just how cute it is. These are things that you need to consider that. If I'm going to get this breed, how is it feeding? Uh, how much will I require to feed that dog? All these things do matter. Okay, my people? Now... Uh, tell us something about the kennel. When did you guys start? We have been operating for the last 18 years mm -hmm. here in Kikuyu. Mm -hmm. yeah, and we also have another space in Karen mm -hmm. where we keep up there the big dogs, mm -hmm. the St. Bernard's, mm -hmm. the solid black G GSDs. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. If somebody is looking for you, where can they find you? Uh, on Facebook at Golden Retrievers Kenya. Mm -hmm. Same to Instagram and, uh, and Twitter. Mm -hmm. We don't have a website yet, mm -hmm. but we market our dogs quite well on the mm -hmm. social media. Mm -hmm. okay. So, if if you'd like to get yourself like a golden retriever, that's an easy one. Golden retriever, Kenya. Go check them out, guys. And I say, before you think about getting a puppy, before you think about acquiring one. Please check on the things that you've said. This is your girl Linda Kenyita and this is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. Thank you for your support. Keep subscribing, keep liking and uh, sharing this content so that we can build this community together. Until the next one, see ya.